Hello. Uh, in this video, I will try to install the uh, top box carrier. So it will be like uh, here. Uh, and also I have the carrier, uh, the uh, box itself. So you will see how the bike uh, looks like with it and what problems I will experience during the process. So uh, I have <clears throat> some instruments, so it's not a lot. So th this ones. This and this uh, pack of instruments, so I hope that will be enough. So, first of all, uh, I need to uh, remove the uh, seat. So, for this, you just need to open it so you need to hold this hold here as i was told uh, on the, uh, as dila told me so hold like this and i don't know oh i see the sound an easy task, no. Here we go. And here's the pack with the uh, with the carrier. So I will try to open it. Here we go. It's almost done. So the metal things are all here. So now I will open them also. It's sealed with the temperature, so I think I will open it from the sides. So the idea is to take off these two and then to uh, place these ones instead of this. So it should be like, oh, I'll see, I, I think, I think like this, I think like this, looks like this, so okay, I'm on the pitch. Okay, so maybe I should unscrew this too, also. Maybe there is an instruction. Okay. So the idea is use this thing to unscrew something. <laughs> so now I'll use this thing to unscrew it. Here we go. Here is the instruction. So right, it should be removed with the tail light. So like this. So 
that's it relatively easy so if i could do this i think everyone could do this as you see so now um we need to remove these two screws and then to remove uh, this uh, plastic things so unscrew this okay so here we go so this thing you don't need it anymore now from the other side okay and now according to the instruction i should remount it back and only after this install the carrier so to install back uh, there is So, I've done some something, so now uh, I think I need to unscrew these things, these two bolts. So, okay, see this, you need to unscrew it somehow, but I personally don't have the instruments for this, so uh, I'll go and find one. So, after some search, I found this T40 hex, like, like this, like a star maybe. I don't know how it is called so uh, it fits fine so I can use it to unscrew it and uh, I think after this I will install the plate so let's do it so now according to the instruction I should just install the whole thing so I want just just want to know what part is where. So like this, I think. Looks like this. Looks like it fits. It doesn't look like it's outside. Okay, I'll try. But again, on the picture, uh, you can see that this things are protruding out so I think it's the right way to install so like this, like this. Mm, looks like looks like it is looks like it is okay. so now I can see the all the holes okay yeah looks like this okay now I just need to install it so they, <clears throat> I, I, I better do like this, here and here, and uh, after this I will try to install it here. So as we see from the instruction, we need these long screws, they are with hex, hex for, for, for the hex, so also, okay, so here what you need to install this, you need this screws there with hex and uh, a pair of details like this grower I think this grower is called so like this to, to fix it very well 
and the second one also like this. So as you see, the plate, the um, uh, holder is installed. So now it is the turn for the plate. If this is how it should look, but unfortunately I have forgotten the keys for this thing. So um, I will return in a while again. Okay, I'm back. So I got the key. Now I can open it and get the plate for me. We are following the instructions, so I can... Um, as I see, it's not the plate that is on, on the picture, but I think I could somehow mount it. On, in place. Okay. So what what I've done? I there is such thing uh, that is covering this uh, this plate. So now I can can use all the cells to install. So I just put it here. No, no, not like this. Like this. Like this. Okay, I'll start and then we'll take a look at it. So first, here. Now it is ready for the another side. So for these things. They are designed for the tubes, but I don't have any tubes. So I'll figure out how to, uh, to install them. Just like this, I don't think they they need any tube at all. You see, uh, the plate is here, so I've inserted the screws here, uh, and uh, I will somehow make it straight. It looks like it's like this straight. So, and now uh, I will show you the underneath okay so I've fixed uh, this thing so you see it's uh, I it's the most symmetrical that I could make uh, so now I just screw it down and that's it so now the next step first of all I will install back the seat and then uh, put the box uh, in place. So like this. Like this. <laughs> so it's. I think it clicks. It clicked. So. it shouldn't go anywhere so next part is the last part is installing the box so this is the 
box it's uh, 46 46 liters box here we go so it will That's it. I've forgotten to, to to return the plate. Okay. Just a moment. Just. Like this, maybe. Just put it in place because it's just it's very flexible thing. Like this. That's it. So it holds well. And now the final look. I'll tell you how the handling now, how the weight now, just a little bit later. But for now. I can put here my helmet <laughs> and all the things I need. So thank you. Hope this video was useful to you uh, and hope you are not so uh, unorganized as me and you will not forget the keys, the uh, T40 um, hex or like this. Thank you very much. Bye bye.